Howdy folks, this is Ethan and Zach with the Sawtooth Avalanche Center. We're at about 9,800 feet in the Boulder Mountains, and today we're taking a look at our wet snow avalanche problems. As we walked in here today, we noticed several roller balls. So roller balls are essentially just the surface of the snow getting wet. That's rolling downhill, basically making a big snowball as it goes downhill. Now that's one of the first signs that the surface is getting wet and wet loose avalanches might follow. Wet loose avalanches are not going to be a single roller ball, but they're going to take out a larger section of the slope. They're certainly going to be large enough to knock you off your feet or bury you in a terrain trap. We saw multiple of those today so far on the southern half of the compass. Behind me here, you can see these two crystal cards. They're marking areas where water from the surface, from the melting snow surface, has percolated down and then pooled at some weak layers in the snowpack. What's interesting is the snow surface is wet, but the water actually finds these preferential channels to move down until it finds a weak interface where it pools. And you can probably see that this is super, super wet. It's essentially a slushy right there. And if you move water down to a section like this, um, that's deeper in the snowpack, there's an increasing chance that we see wet slab activity, which would then release this entire slab of snow and push it down slope. Obviously, they're going to be larger and more dangerous. We haven't seen a lot of them yet, but we expect that with warm temperatures, weak overnight freezes in the next couple of days, that the odds of this larger wet slab activity is going to be on the rise. So check the forecast in the morning and be safe out there.